Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Uh, today for a mini message, we're actually going to be moving over into Genesis chapter 17 and continue to look at the life of Abraham. Now, we just want to look at verses 1 and 2 today. There's a lot of information. I'm not even sure we'll make it all the way to verses 1 and 2. We may have to pick up some uh, on tomorrow's. But it says there in verse 1, when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am El Shaddai, God Almighty. Serve me faithfully and live a blameless life. I will make a covenant with you by which I will guarantee to give you countless descendants. Okay, so Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran in Genesis chapter 12, verse 4 to come to the promised land because he went from Ur to Haran, took a break, then moved on to the promised land. He's 86 years old when Ishmael is born. Now he's waited some 25 years for the fulfillment of God's promise. And the Bible tells us that it had been approximately 13 years since his last visit from God. So here he is in the middle of this time, just sitting and, and, and waiting on the Lord. Now, it says there the Lord appeared to him. All right. When I look at that, this doesn't appear to be a vision. OK, when we think about this. It's talked about him falling asleep and visions and, and, and almost like a trance kind of situation. This doesn't appear to be that, especially when you go a little bit further down and see how Abraham responds physically. This doesn't appear to be the same kind of thing. I think this is a physical appearance, just as Christ appeared to Hagar back in the previous chapter. I think right here, this once again is Christ appearing to Abraham. Now that's just so cool to me to see Jesus all throughout the Old Testament. He, he appears throughout the Old Testament. It's prophesied about throughout the Old Testament. Over and over we see Him. I love it because it just shows us that all of Scripture is centered around Christ, God the Son, who brought the forgiveness for sin for the world by what He did for us on the cross and the shedding of His blood. So he physically appears to him and he introduces himself. He says he is El Shaddai. So he's revealing his person and character to hear, hear to him. But there is some debate about what this name means. And there's kind of uh, several different ones. And a couple that I picked out that I wanted to talk about was one is El Shaddai, meaning I'm God all sufficient. And they, they take this word El Shaddai to have a root in the word Shaddah, the, the Hebrew word Shaddah, which means to shed or to pour out. So what he's saying there, I'm the God who pours out blood blessings, who gives richly and gives abundantly. Then you come at another version of this. There's another idea that this word Shaddai comes from the root word Shaddad with a D instead of an H on the transliteration, which means to display power. So I'm not sure which one it is. And it doesn't necessarily, you know, uh, we, don't, we don't have to understand this perfectly. I think Abraham understood it perfectly at the moment. But here God is revealing his name to Abraham. He's revealing something about his character to him. And you see, we can't really know God. We can't really have a relationship with God without knowing something about him. See, this was personal. You know, this was Abraham and God and God revealing something about himself to him. God reveals himself to us. God shows himself to us. God makes himself apparent to us as we move through life. And it is a personal, personal friendship, a personal relationship that it's it's one-on-one. -on -one. God knows us and God wants us to know Him. So in different ways across our life, He kind of shows Himself to us through circumstances, through blessings, through prayer, through His Word, through, through just time of, of, of friendship and fellowship and, and, and living life with Him. So ask yourself, God, show, how have you shown yourself to me? And ask God to show Himself to you so that you can have that deeper walk with Him and know Him even better tomorrow than you know Him today. Be blessed. We'll see you again soon.